Hi guys, uh, Frederick here. This is just a quick video how you can still get Affinity Designer, Publisher, Affinity Photo for your iPad, I think before um, the end of October. Even though Affinity removed their downloads from their website and you can't create account right now, um, you still can do everything basically from within um, the iPad app essentially. So even if you don't have an account, you still can get it registered, you still can do everything basically. And so let me just show you how to do it. So first things first, you need to go to the App Store, uh, find Affinity, uh, Designer, Publisher, Photo, um, and download the apps. Then you need to launch um, all three apps essentially. At the very beginning, it will prompt you to start seven day trial. You press OK. Then you go into account. And even without creating an Affinity account, you can purchase it to your Apple account essentially. So that app will stay in your account and you can re-download it sort of later down the road essentially. I bought actually Affinity Designer uh, first version and I can still go into my account settings and into apps and like re-download the app, like the very first version, if I'm okay with that app and you know, it's still working perfectly fine. So you can still do this with V2, even if you will not register to Affinity. And I'll show you on the screen, cause I screen recorded it, that when you press buy now, it shows that uh, it's zero dollar purchase right now. And um, so you can still do that. Uh, purchased it for zero dollars, which is, I mean, this is an insane deal. <laughs> If I'm being honest, to get an Affinity V2 for zero, I mean, it can't get better than that, especially on the iPad, because on Macs, if you're like truly, really short on money and stuff like that, there are ways how to put apps for free, right? But on the iPad, there is no such way. And so the fact that they're giving away essentially uh, full sort of full-fledged apps, uh, photo, video, designer uh, for free, it's pretty cool. It's insane actually. So yeah, when you press buy, uh, it shows you zero dollars. It associates it with your account and with your Apple account, uh, but you can go one step further. And one step further is to associate it with your affinity account. And you can see that they give you this like plaque uh, with like create free account or existing customer sign in. So if you previously bought something from affinity, you can sign in into uh, that account essentially or you can create free account. And if you press create free account, it will actually prompt you to enter your email address. It asks you for your name, then it asks uh, what, which kind of account, personal business education. Uh, you create a password um, and then promotional stuff, do you want that or not? Then you open your mail, you uh, verify your, um, your account and then, um, yeah, they say thank you for your purchase. And now you will see that uh, your like affinity, in this case, affinity publisher too, is logged into like that affinity associated email essentially and it says your license is active and will never expire and if you have two uh, affinity accounts you want to uh, you know maybe sign into one log out of another you can do it but it prompts you this like thing like do you want to deactivate your account and activate a license with like another email instead? And it sounds a little scary and I think it's written kind of poorly really because you're not like really deactivating the license. Like you will still have that purchase on your Affinity account when you linked that purchase on your iPad to that Affinity account, it will still be there. But in case, you know, you want uh, to sign into another one, you are doing this. It's not like necessarily deactivating license, it's like you're switching into another account. It's like, I don't know, I don't like this wording because it's way too scary. But I've tried, you sign out of one account, go into another account, it still kind of works. So it's like, I don't know, it's a little weird. Uh, what's going on here but also be mindful because sometimes affinity gives like uh, away like some free brushes kind of that kind of stuff and they associate with certain accounts so if you want like everything to be in one account because those like brushes and everything uh, they will be visible in this like panel inside of affinity uh, in affinity designer like i'm saying photos uh, publisher and so if you want everything to be in one place be mindful essentially to which accounts you're associating those applications so it's not like you have like cool brushes in one account and then your like actual apps in like another account which is kind of something that i've done just to test things for like one account but like it doesn't really matter like the apps still work but I'm just saying that this is kind of a little thing that you should pay attention essentially. Be mindful because you can't necessarily like deactivate it with one account and like re-register it with another account. I've tried it actually and it says that this in-app purchase registration failed because the receipt has already been registered. So you're gonna have one chance for this. So once again be mindful of which account 
uh, you which like affinity account you are associating with this like purchase on your particular Apple ID account or like Apple account I guess it, it's called right now. So yeah, as of recording this on like 26, 27 of October 2025, you still have three, four days to actually do this. So this is kind of urgent thing. I will put this video out uh, basically today, and um, yeah, uh, this is kind of urgent. So go do it. Um, Sorry that I didn't make this video earlier, but yeah, it seems like it's still possible. So yeah, uh, go give it a try and um, you know, thank you to Affinity. Thank you to, uh, I think they've been purchased by Canva, if I'm not mistaken. So thank you Canva for yeah, giving away Affinity. Um, volume two essentially for free, like at least on iPads. Uh, would be cool if they did it on Macs as well, but on Macs there are no download links whatsoever and you can't register uh, and associate like uh, affinity account like anywhere really um, if you're like a new user but once again you can kind of go and uh, create like this new account via iPad application so you know at least that's an option but uh, yeah there are no download links for like a full-fledged sort of desktop application unfortunately uh, but yeah go do it um, make your iPad more useful and because these are quite nice applications. Once again, they are for zero dollars, so it can't get better than this. Um, yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more Frytech, uh, you know, tips, tricks, tutorials, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, if this video was helpful, um, you can give me a little bit of a tip, a little bit of a donation in a link down below, because unfortunately this channel cannot be monetized, because unfortunately I live in a shitty country called Belarus, and um, YouTube and Google removed uh, my ability to earn money basically like a year ago. Um, so yeah, thank you Google and YouTube for that. So yeah guys, if this video was helpful, I would really appreciate some little tip, you know, three, five bucks uh, would be really cool, basically for saving you uh, quite a lot of money. Um, Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye-bye.